Hey guys, in this tutorial, we check out the features of the new bone tool in Flash CS5. Well, here we are, a new version of Flash, and so we have a new version of the bone tool. So, as you can see, I have a drawing on my screen, and it's not a symbol. And what I'm going to do is take my selection tool and highlight the drawing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select the bone tool and I'm simply going to come down to the bottom and click hold and drag and just move my mouse button up and release. And then I'm just going to continue on from there by click and holding and moving up again. So far, this is all just like it was in Flash CS4. There's really no changes. And just like Flash CS4, you then have to take the selection tool in order to manipulate your joints. So then you can come up here and you can move your object around and do different things with it. Now where the real differences come in between CS4 and CS5 is the properties box. Once you apply your joints, you can change different things about them right in the properties box. The big things being you can add a spring or you can constrain your joints in different ways. So what does constraining do exactly? Well, let's say for instance, you don't want your joint to move past a certain point. You can apply some parameters so it doesn't do this. So for instance, let's come down here to this one and let's go ahead and enable it and click constrain. As you can see right now, we have it set to 50-50. So really, it really has no room to move. And now if we go ahead and we try to move our bone tool, you can see that it's constrained. It actually is doing some really weird stuff here. It's like it doesn't move past that certain point. So that allows you to do different things. So let's just go ahead and undo that really quick. Now the spring basically allows you to animate like a spring effect automatically. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take this tree here and I'm just going to kind of like bend it like this. Now I'm just going to come down here to my timeline and I'm going to right click frame 20 and insert a pose. So then at frame 20 I'm going to just move the tree back this way like kind of like that. Now on my timeline I'm going to go ahead and go to frame 100 and right click and insert a pose. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one of the joints. Let's go ahead and click the top one right here. Each joint has a different um, spring parameter along with a dampening parameter. So let's go ahead and actually test this first before we do anything. If I hit enter on my keyboard, that's what the animation does. It flings over and then it goes to frame 100 and then that's it. Now, I'm going to click the top joint, as I said before, and I'm going to take the strength of the spring, and just to show you, I'm going to increase it all the way to 100. Now I'm going to play the animation again. And see what it does is when it goes to that point, it just does a springing effect, as if it's using like the gravity or the motion of the object, and it just continues to move, basically, with that joint. Now, let's say you want it to taper off after it does that, because as you can see, it was just bouncing continuously. Well, that's where dampening comes in. So again, just for as an, ext as an extreme here, I'm just gonna put it all the way to 100, and I'm just going to, again, play this. As it goes, then it slowly stops um, bouncing. And again, you can apply this to different joints. So if we go and click on the middle joint, as you can see, we don't have any um, spring to that. So we can simply just go ahead and let's put it to 54 and put the dampening to uh, 25. And again, playing with these parameters will you know, give you different effects depending on how strong the spring is and all that. So if we hit return again here, we'll see again, we have that spring effect going into play. And of course that affects this spring effect because of how this joint is moving. So again, it's pretty cool how it all works out. It's pretty uh, intuitive. But anyway, that pretty much covers the new features of the bone tool. 
it's um I think these are some great additions and I'm kind of looking forward to trying them out myself in my movies so hopefully you guys find them useful as well so anyway I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you guys next time